Right sorry this is just a small video to start. I've arrived at Preston Cemetery and I've got a bit of a map here. This is the old bit up here. Opened in the 1850s. Um, the first person to be buried was um, a woman called Elizabeth Christian. She died 1855. She was only five. She was the first person to be interred in the cemetery on the 3rd of July, 1855. I'll just see if I recognise any names on here a minute. Yeah, so it's, it's a Preston Old Cemetery. Preston Old Cemetery, Wildlife and Heritage Walk, this is. So I'm just going to be doing a little video, because this is massive apparently, absolutely massive. And I would need probably a year to be able to do it all. I've selected the old part straight away. Um, and it stretches for as long as the eye can see and this is just the old bit there's a road right 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 down the bottom which is a main road with cars going up and down and if you go across that there's the new bit which is equally as nearly as equally as big so as I stand here I'm just doing a little scan straight away I'm going to do a little scan because you never know Let's just hope the rain keeps off. So even if I don't find any ones, are they are going to be here, and you really they, they haven't got it on in digitalized the burials yet. They're still on that fish, micro fish, which is a very and it's not indexed, so you have to just plow through for hours and hours um, apparently. You can get an idea of the dates here though but they have been burying new people as well. Well you know re more recent people they have to use the space apparently. So I don't really know where to start but I'm, I'm walking right up the top to where the first burial was. Um, but what I thought Chorley was big this is absolutely massive Zara so but all I want you to know is we at least we've located this huge cemetery and one day the database will be online then we'll be able to locate people properly No, don't worry. I'm all right, Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Have you found them? A man just asked me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this particular piece of apparatus, I'm not quite sure what it is, um, it doesn't say what it is, but I got a feeling it's something to do with um, the religious people, um, where they come and pray in that, some sort of chapel or mosque type of thing, they've probably got a special name for it, which is huge, I don't know if they burn people in here. Um, don't really know. Prepare the bodies or something. It's water and old carpet and that. Obviously, somewhere where you lay the coffin, it looks a bit grim, doesn't it? Not quite sure. Isn't it? Probably is mentioned in here, um, but it doesn't say specifically what it is. Right, so like I said, this is really a formidable task, Zara, 
and the fact that um, we haven't got anything online yet they were talking about digitalizing graves on telly last night on the one show where they put this this barcode thing on quite big as well so, and it's what it is you when you scan the barcode it tells you about the person's life if as much as they want to you to know that is um, you know for example what you achieved or anything like that of course we're looking for Hodges we we know this but they're supposed to be buried here but not necessarily they might have just put Preston down as a a registration district they could still have been buried in the villages um, and I, I, I've got a feeling I have found some but of course I'm not going to be able to go over to uh, I don't know if I'm going to go to Manchester I, I really think it's going to be like driving through London to be quite honest it's going to be difficult Preston's hard enough um, but it's just one road going through and one road going round the outside even though it's a city um, you can get through um, I mean I might still try it I haven't decided yet Right then, so this is just a very small video, Zara, of the scale of this cemetery. Over and out. <laughs>